Hey Greg, Tyson Mug from Northland Nissan here. I just wanted to thank you for coming in yesterday afternoon and taking a quick look at the 2013 Pathfinders that we have here. I know your wife wasn't able to be with you, so I figured I'd take this opportunity to make you a short video so you can both take a look at the Pathfinder before you come into Prince George. Now this is that grey Pathfinder that we were looking at, the SV, so the middle of the road Pathfinder. I know you weren't looking for something with a ton of options. Awesome looking vehicle, completely redesigned for 2013. Really sharp looking. Start at the back here. Now you do have backup sensors. You've got four of them along the bumper. You do have that in combination with a backup camera, which I'll show you when we get inside. You do have the power lift gate. You can turn the power lift gate off and just use it manual if you don't like it. You can have it either way. So in the back here, you do have a little bit of storage room, even with the third row seats up. The Pathfinder does seat seven. A little bit of hidden storage. Now it's super easy to fold these seats down. Just fold the headrest, click the button, down they fold. And you do have quite a lot of room in the Pathfinder. Now you do have the power gate down as well, just single touch. If something's in the way, it will stop and go back up, safety precaution. Second row here, you can fit three people across comfortably in the second row of the Pathfinder. Plenty of room. They do get to control their own temperature and fan strength back here. Now, something that's really nice about the Pathfinder is the ability to slide the seats all the way forward so you can get into the third row. Folds up so there is actually quite a lot of room to get in. And the seats do move forward and backward just like a manual passenger seat. So you can slide it forward and backward depending upon how much cargo you have or how much leg room the people in the second row need. Now you do have cup holders in both doors as well as bottle holders. And in the center console, there is some more bottle holders. I know that was a concern of yours, Greg. Up front here, got power locks, windows, and mirrors, as you'd expect. Down here, eight-way adjustable power driver's seat. Down here, you do have the heated steering wheel, which I really like during the winter. You don't have a cold steering wheel when you come out first thing in the morning. You can open the power lift gate from here if someone's trying to load something and you just pull up. And there's the button to turn the power door on or off. Now on the steering wheel here, we do have Bluetooth and volume controls right here. So you can make and receive calls from your steering wheel. You can choose what you're listening to through your presets or AM to FM to satellite, iPod, whatever you have hooked up there. And on this side, you do have your cruise control. So Nissan's trying to make it so you never have to take your hands off the steering wheel. It's push button start, so the key's in my pocket, foot's on the brake, I just hit the start button, and here's the heads up display. So that's going to show us our vehicle right now, and you can cycle through quite a lot of options. Shows you your average fuel economy, your tire pressure when you're driving, where the power is, saying I have low fuel right now, needs to be fueled up. Shows where the power is, front or rear. What warning lights, if any, come up, so it's, again, telling me low fuel. And then I can change some things, the color of the vehicle on the inside, on the display here. It tells me when my maintenance is due, all that great stuff. I can change that from red to blue to silver, black, whatever color you like. Gives me the temperature gauge top right and my estimated distance till empty on the top left there. It also says it's in auto in the center there. So I can actually switch it just to front wheel drive with the selector down here. So front wheel drive, just for the summer, it'll be front wheel drive. So you'll save a little more fuel than if you're in all-wheel drive. You can put it in auto, so that'll be all-wheel drive. So it'll go to front-wheel drive when you don't need the all-wheel drive. The second you start to corner or detect slush, slippage, anything like that, it'll put power to the rear wheels. Or you can lock it in four. So it's 50% power front, 50% power back, which is really handy. Down here, you've got heated seats with high and low setting for front driver and passenger. Down here... You've got dual climate control, so the driver can have it their way and the passenger can have it their way as well. You've got your CD player, AM, FM, all that great stuff. Up here, that'll display my music, what channel I'm listening to. It'll show me my temperature and my dual. And then the backup camera. The screen also doubles as my backup camera. So here's the backup camera, shows me exactly what's behind me. The second I start to turn... That yellow line moves, and it shows me where I'm going to end up if I keep my wheels turned the way they are turned right now, which is really handy. I use it all the time, parking vehicles back in stalls. Put it back in park. 
So Greg, that's a brief overview of the 2013 Nissan Pathfinder SV. I'll talk to you soon.